the second moon of Jupiter. Something deadly is happening. Pretty soon we'll see that this is just like every other mining town. I work these people hard, and I, uh, I let them play hard. There's never much trouble. We're all professionals. I'm sure we are. We've only been here two weeks. It'll get better, I promise. I got nothing more on that incident in the mine yesterday. It looks like some guy just went wacko. It happens here. How often? I don't know. It just happens here. Why? I'm not a psychiatrist. I can't tell you why. Some people just can't take it here after a while. What's that guy think he's doing? No way it could have been homicide. It had to have been a suicide. 28 in the last six months. Did you do autopsy? No. Then how do you know it was a suicide? There's no other explanation. When a person exposes himself to zero pressure atmosphere, there isn't a whole lot left to inspect. Something's there, isn't it? Maybe. you know what you're meddling with. How do you leave? You know, with grown-ups here. Bingo. Marshall, you're dead. If you're the kind of guy you're supposed to be, you wouldn't stick around. That's why they sent you here. Maybe they made a mistake. interested in her. Your horse from Erechnopolis, the god of the heavens. I'm flattered, Nicopola, wretched human. You're the greatest mystery of nature I've ever come across. Some of the vertebrate animals on this planet shed their skin. You are going through the same process. Young women like her are rare, extremely rare. There are only a few of them in the entire universe. They don't even know who they are themselves or the power they have. You're going to need someone to take you home. What power? The greatest power of all. I don't know that I was holding in my hands my future and the fate of all humanity. Such a small object, yet so powerful. I'm the guy on the receiving end, 
and I'm about to dive into the unknown. Talk! You got five seconds! Okay, okay, I'll talk! Lucky me. I suddenly became the target of every bounty hunter in the galaxy. They were after something so valuable, and I didn't even know I had it. Unknowingly, I set in motion a chain of events that would change the universe forever. depths of darkness to the highest echelons, nothing would stay the same. Hail the holy darkness! Attack! Staring at it, the origin of everything, the Incal. Only by overcoming the worst evils would I learn to harness its unimaginable power.
in an earlier version of the uh, film, Grimaldi, the astronaut who drove the Corvette to Earth in soft landing, does not die at the outset of the film, but rather acts as a guide for the girl, allowing her to experience the wonders of heavy metal through a magic carousel. The uh, green ball on the top acts as a power source for the fantastic merry-go-round. A closer look at the uh, carousel reveals links to each of the sequences in the film. You see a giant bee, you can see a corvette, you can see a Tarnas mount, you can see uh, a B-17, Zika Netzel spaceship, etc., etc., which also, uh, the, that spaceship doubled as uh, the link to Captain Stern because in the early version it was uh, a Captain Stern uh, uh, linking device. It's my opinion that what was happening is as the girl got more uh, closer to the uh, the carousel, she got to be more empathetic to the situation that was going on. And uh, what was happening is they wanted to show this empathy. So when Tarna was being whipped in the pit, the girl was feeling it, you know, Alexander Dumas style, Corsican brothers, whatever you want to call it. So they were indicating that the girl was linked to Tarna in some way, so that at the end when she becomes a new defender, it's logical. They actually recorded some of the dialogue on this, uh, and if you listen to the the track, you can actually hear some of the dialogue, which was nicely recorded. Very uh, nice acting. The core concept of the finale of the film from the early version uh, survived um, with the girl transforming into the new defender. New New York. A billion people live here. A billion citizens simmering to a boil. Some of them have this ugly habit of getting dead without permission. New New York is a super city burrowed into the living rock, 199 levels all stacked up like dirty dishes in a sink. I'm in the middle of the stack. It's a bullet riddled door at the end of a shabby hallway. It's locked, but don't be shy. Come on in. There's nobody here but me and my second-hand auto sec. And my time is yours for 75 quads a day plus expenses. Me? I'm Pete Club. Just another name to you, but it's the only one I've got. From my window, I can see the rampway, a vertical freeway that goes straight down four miles. From level five, where the old money lives, to the 197th level, the alien ghetto, a.k.a. Bug Town. Incoming. Incoming. I'm a private inquisitor with my office on the 99th level. My job is to provide the human touch. In NNY, the cops are all robots. They don't take bribes or beat up the customers. But some guys still want to deal with a person. That's where I come in. I'm a human justice machine. Investigator, judge, and executioner. All wrapped up into one trench cloak. Some people call me a masochist. Some say I'm just plain stupid, and the cops keep threatening to take away my firearm license. But I never killed nobody who didn't have it coming. Want to take a walk on the wild side? Hmm? Just call me. But no checks. I got a wall full of checks. I said, what are you doing tonight? I thought we might go to dinner and maybe to a movie afterward. You want me to go out with you? 
I'm sorry, Dan. I already got a date. the way you told me to. Oh, no, you didn't. You couldn't follow a paint-by-number kid. You're without a doubt the most inept employee on the face of the earth. That, Mr. Johnson, would be too much of a coincidence. Dan, you walk out that door, don't ever come back. come a long way and waited a long time to find you. I am a disposed queen of, I guess you might call it Neverland. An evil lord has stolen the Lochmar, the magic scepter, and with it my power. My only hope is to secure the help of a champion to retrieve it. You then are my champion. You will help me, you must. You must be mistaken. I'm not a champion. No, my hero, you are the one that is mistaken. You cannot see yourself as I see you, but come with me and you will. Come closer, Den, step into the field of the gate, and you will live as you... What's happened? 
No time for that now. Look. What shall we do? Use your weapons. come from? Oh, my poor Jen. I'm afraid there'll be many things that you don't understand in this place. The material they were made of, and we are made of now, cannot exist without a life force to hold it together. Come, we must hurry. But where did these come from? I created them. Yes, I did. You could do it yourself if you remained in this land long enough. Lord who stole the Lochmar. You will see and be contested by beings which you will find unbelievable. You must be triumphant. Our whole world is depending on you. I am depending on you. I shall do my best, my queen. No, no, you will win because you must.
is doing better than his predecessors. But he can't seem to keep his weapons. He, 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 he. Free me, you fiend, or he will kill you. I think he'll make a nice playmate for Slash. Why don't you just throw me off and be done with it? Oh no, my dear. These things must be done with style. my possession again. My queen. Din, my loyal Din. Thank you, Din. You are a great hero. Your name shall be carved in Malachite on list of honor. Goodbye. They've done it to me again. Today, The Walking Dead continue to grow in numbers all over the world. People who die just don't stop moving. They go to work, to school, generally continuing to do what they did in life. While they pose no direct danger to the living, like the flesh-eating ghouls of the Romero system, scientists are concerned about the health hazard. Posts. Yo, Cookie, wait a minute. You can't bring Stern his last meal without gravy, <laughs> huh? Captain Stern deserves only the best. <laughs> What's happening? Breaking news, notorious space pirate Captain Lincoln F. Stern was found dead in his cell this morning. Well, looks like the state will save on its power bill this month. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Uncle Philly. You look happy today. I am happy.
happy in this sum. Captain Stern is dead. Who's Captain Stern? Stern is... was the author of my misery. With Stern erased from the equation, our task becomes much simpler. The cause of death of Captain Stern has yet to be established because... Because... Who cares? <laughs> uh, a good friend, Captain Stern. D dead? Oh, that's too bad. Too bad it didn't happen sooner. Actually, he seems to be a little ahead of schedule. Schedule? What schedule? Nice going, Hanover. Stern was accused of the following charges. 12 counts of murder in the first degree. 4 counts of armed theft of Federation property. 16 counts of fraud. 37 counts of rape. And 1 moving violation. Beezer? Being dead is the only way to live. As long as you've got an angle. In a world without heroes, he's the last thing we need. Bernie Wrightson's Captain Stern.
posait sur votre épaule En ce temps-là Comme le vent s'enlace avec le vent, mais c'était dans le temps, il y a longtemps, quand nous avions en ce temps-là le temps. 